Hey, Cast One here. Sorry I haven't been a while since I posted another video. It's getting to be, you know, summertime. You know, spring just passed. It's getting into summer. Um, I'm going fishing more, and I'm very busy with rod building and, and repairs. So, um, that being that said, I'll make a quick video for you guys. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, guide measuring um, uh, stick for your to measure your guides. Uh, what you're going to need is an adhesive uh, measuring, measuring tape. Um, this came off of Amazon. This is about mm, seven bucks, I think. Get a six footer um, and a pole. Now this pole is, is not six feet, but if you're placing guides at 72 feet, um, yeah, that's going to be, uh, that's, that's a big, that's a hell of a stick right there, hell of a blank. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut um, using a little table saw here. Uh, it's not cut, it's not set very high, and I'm going to run this through, and I'm going to cut a groove into the blank. All right, let me get that done. Um, you can use a table saw, you can use a router table, or I guess you could use a Dremel tool. It's just going to take you a little longer. Um, let me get to it and get back All to it. All right, so we cut a groove down the middle of my um, curtain rod dowel. And I already drilled two pre, pre drilled two holes right here. And I marked it and drilled the matching holes on these piece of plastic. This plastic is like a PVC plastic that you get a um, piece of scrap. They get at Lowe's for like siding uh, PVC board and you got two screws. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to cut out around the uh, the dowel here with a bandsaw and I'll probably leave some space out here and uh, I'm gonna put a little piece of foam in between there just for the tip uh, and have it come out just a little bit and the foam I'll use is just some scrap uh, EBA foam that I'll just cut to fit in there perfect and so that the tip will go on and then um, uh, and oh you'll need some felt so we're and some spray adhesive and you're gonna spray inside the cut and attach this on the inside and um, I'll show you when we get there okay right, so I got the top attached with the EVA foam cut perfectly in between the groove and I have put that piece of felt all the way down. It's still kind of setting a little bit. Um, the best way I figured to do it was spray adhesive other than like a brush adhesive, like contact cement or whatnot, is you take your flathead screwdriver, spray it in there, go a little bit at a time, and then just kind of fit it in there and it'll fit in there just nice. Uh, next is, um, put the uh, um, measuring tape on and how we're going to do that is we will start uh, right here at one because this is where the tip's going to go into and run it down. We got the the, uh, the measuring tape all attached and now we're uh, we just cut off the extra end and um, now we're just going to see how she does bring it up to the rock shop. And test her out back in the shop and uh, you know the main reason why I did this um, this guide placement ruler thing um, was because I do use the mud hole track and it works great uh, but you know every once in a while it does I, I feel I feel like I'm gonna scratch the blink by putting it in the track here laying across and plus I gotta move all my tools and stuff uh, now I don't do it a hundred percent I also um, do the right thing and I do static uh, deflection um, also but that's another video um, but a lot of people rely on these um, CRB uh, measurements that they already do and, and and MHX does their own measurements too on guide placement that's already done for you so this is a easy way to um, set up your your guides now how it works is it's super easy is this is a uh, mag bass 
uh, seven foot three. Uh, I think it's MB uh, eight seven three, uh, metallic red, and I have it in my guide tool, guide placement tool, I guess. And I use these little Velcro straps to strap it down. And there is my ruler attached, and I can do all the way up. There's one all the way down to 69 inches. That's the length of the dowel. I don't think I'll ever go more than that. I probably will never even get close to 60s, but it could happen one day. Um, it fits in there nice. There's no scratching or anything. I just, you know, find my blank and take my China marker. You know, take my China marker and mark wherever I need it to be. And, and, uh, it doesn't turn or rotate on me. It's secured in this very nicely. Um, so if you like this idea, uh, let me know. Yeah, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram. I always do a bunch of different things. Let me know how I do. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.